This is a video about the future of Steam hardware. Today, we're announcing three new members of the Steam hardware lineup. All connect you with powerful PC gaming. All are optimized for gaming with Steam, and all are shipping in early 2026. Well, you heard it right. Valve just did it again out of nowhere. Steam just dropped the trailer yesterday that's got the entire gaming world buzzing. Three brand new devices, one ecosystem, and the promise to blur the line between PC and console forever. This is the next evolution of Steam hardware and an entire shock for the whole gaming platforms. Well, let's start with the big one, the same machine, or what people are calling the GameCube. Think of it as a console that refuses to be locked down. It's a compact, sleek, and built to plug in right to your living room setup. But here's the twist, it runs fully on Steam OS, meaning you can launch your entire Steam library and mod your games, install third-party apps, and yes, you can even use Windows or Linux if you want. Basically, all the power of PC wrapped into the simplicity of a console which is crazy. So the same machine comes packed with a custom AMD Zen 4 CPU and a powerful RDNA 3 GPU from AMD, giving it a serious PC level performance. It runs on 60 gig of fast DDR5 RAM and offers either a 5, 12 gigabyte or 12 terabyte SSD for storage, plus a front facing micro SD slots for easier expansion. For visuals, it supports 4K gaming and ray tracing through a Steam OS 3 with a full desktop mode and a front customizable face. Now let's talk about the Steam controller, a major piece of Valve's new hardware lineup. If the Steam machine is the brain, then the controller is the hands. And Valve is clearly aiming to make this one one of the most flexible and customizable gaming controllers on the market. So now let's talk about the new controller feature. The same controller connects through a, a small wireless pack that plugs directly into your same machine, PC or even a dock. This pack works in two ways. First, it acts as a low latency wireless receiver, giving you a fast responsive input with almost zero delays. Second, it also supports full Bluetooth connectivity so you can pair the controller with phones, tablets, TV or any other device. The same controller also features a haptic touchpad for mouse-like precision, a gyro aiming for smoother control and a fully customizable layout so you can remap every button to fit any game. It's also modular and repair friendly, letting you swap parts like sticks and pads to keep it running and tailored to your play style. Moving to the next thing on our list, let's talk about the Steam VR set. Valve's push into high-end virtual reality, this headset aims to deliver premium clarity, a smooth performance and easy setup, giving players a powerful VR experience without needing a full PC beside them. The headset delivers a high resolution display with sharp clarity and reduced screen door effect, helping gamers and games and the environment look more realistic. It uses inside out tracking, meaning the cameras on the headset track your movement, so no base station needed really. The controllers features precise motion sensors and comfortable grips for long sessions, and because the system is built on Valve's open platform, you can run any VR program or any game you want with the VR set. The Sim VR set also comes in a developer kit version, designed for creators who want full control over building, testing and optimizing the VR experience. This kit focuses on opens and flexibility giving developers access to deeper system tools, expanded tracking data and the ability to experiment with software outside normal consumer limits. It's made for game studios and die developers who want to push VR beyond standard gameplay. And that's the full look at Valve's new hardware lineup, all expected to roll out in early 2026. If Valve drops more details or updates, I'll cover them right away. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this breakdown, make sure to like and subscribe for the next one.